I'm so happy with it. After two years of turmoil. Just really love everything. Connie Bennett is back home. It's two bedrooms, but that's enough for me. Back among the trees and the sunshine on land that's been in her family for decades. Land she thought she might never live on again. It took a long time. But to know Connie Bennett is to know one thing. When life knocks her down, she gets back up. Police say that sometime between 9 last night and early this morning, the Bennett family was brutally attacked with a blunt instrument and a knife, probably this one found in the snow covering their front lawn. It was a scene that was awful beyond imagination. Connie walking into this home on a Monday morning in January 1984 to discover her son Bruce, daughter-in-law Deborah, granddaughter Melissa, all murdered. That bothers me a lot to think about what, what had, had occurred there. Another granddaughter, Vanessa, left with horrible injuries that would alter her life forever. For more than three decades, there was a kind of insidious heartbreak that comes with not knowing who killed her family. And then, in 2017, a different kind of heartbreak. A fire destroyed her home. You can't do anything about the past, and you don't know about the future, so all you can do is go day by day, and that's what I try to do. Had a nice window here and front door. A year ago, we visited. Driveway has to go that far down. As she navigated all kinds of requirements to rebuild. I need to rearrange my rocks too. There were times that I thought, gee, that's too much. I, you know, throw up my hands and say, forget the whole thing. But um, I feel like it was all worthwhile because I am back up here. A year later, what a difference. Back then, she climbed up to a burned-out foundation. Come on. Today, that climb takes her to her new front door. <laughs> back then, she could only remember what had been. Had a little deck that came out back here. Today, uh, the back deck is nice and large. Reality has replaced memories. It's nice in the summer when the sun's high. Inside, I feel like Jackie Kennedy yeah. here. Though. She takes us on a tour. <laughs> this is a master bedroom and a guest bedroom. This is an extra bed, uh, you know, for somebody. Uh, I guess I could, uh, my kids could sleep there if there's another person there. I've got a little bit of clutter in here, but uh, this picture of the kids. Stopping to linger on a photograph of her murdered son and his family. And everywhere, sunshine splashes in through the windows. I love the sun and just to be outside and put her around really not accomplish much. <laughs> Kevin Vaughn, Nine News.